So in this problem, a car slows down uniformly from a speed of 18 meters per second to rest in five seconds. How far did it travel in that time? So I'm gonna draw a diagram to help show you how this works. So we have this car here. And so we know it's traveling in this moment at 18 meters per second. And then so it slows down to a rest. So it's gonna travel some distance, we don't know. And then at this point, the car is gonna be at rest. And so when something's at rest, it's gonna be moving zero meters per second, right? Because it's not moving at all, so zero meters per second. But we also know that it took five seconds for it to travel this distance. So five seconds, and then we're trying to find how far it traveled, right? So this distance, which you can represent by delta x, right? Because delta x is just the change in position, so the change from this position to this position. So now that we've got this, uh, we're gonna use the kinematic equations to solve. And so you can tell we use these based on it says a uniform speed. So it slows down uniformly, which basically just means a constant uh, acceleration or deceleration, right? So we're going to be using these. So let's decide which one to use. So the one you should use, or you can decide based on the variables you're given. So let's write those down first. So we're given uh, 18 meters per second, right? So it's initial velocity, the starting velocity, right? So it starts at this. So V sub zero, which is initial velocity, is 18 meters per second. And then V, which is our final velocity, so the velocity at the end. And we know it slows down to a rest, right? So a rest means zero meters per second. So its final velocity is zero meters per second. And then it tells us it took five seconds. So T, which represents time, is going to be five seconds. And then we're trying to find the distance it traveled, so delta x. So we're trying to find it for delta x, and we're given these variables. Uh, if you see 1, 3, and 4 all contain acceleration, and so we can't use those, right, because uh, we're not given any acceleration, so we're going to have to use this one, and you can see all the variables line up. We're given uh, v, v sub 0, and t. So all we got to do is solve now. So delta x equals v, which is 0, plus v sub 0, which is 18, or 2 times t, which is 5. So it's 18 divided by 2, which is just 9, times 5. And so 9 times 5 is 45. So delta x is going to be equal to 45. And so keep in mind, this is meters, this is seconds, and we know that we're using meters, right? So delta x is just position or distance, right? So we just use meters to represent it. So delta x is going to be equal to 45 meters. So the distance that the car traveled in this time is 45 meters.